Hello friend, I am back. Today I will discuss with you the Sabka Vikas scheme which is effectively started from 1st of September 2019. What are the highlights of the scheme? If you go for the scheme, then there is no required to pay any interest, penalty, or late fee. There will be also no prosecution, okay? And the case or the appeal or the so cause notice which we opted for this scheme cannot be reopened. The last date for filing the application will be 31st December 2019. For each pending appeal or so cause notice, separate application to be filed. There is no provision to ask for partial settlement, but there is no harm in asking for partial release. So in the case you have in a so-called notice, more than one issue are there, and only for one issue you want to go for this scheme, but not for another because you are confident that you will win the scheme, okay? then it's a matter of decision what is benefiting to you okay then you have to compute whether you want to go for no whether you want to go or you don't want to go okay still if you don't want to go okay because the the mathematics or the number are saying better you don't go for that for this particular so called notice or appeal okay there is no harm in asking for partial relief okay the maximum it can be rejected Now, how much to pay? In the case, tax demand is more than 50 lakh, you'll get rebate of 50% of the tax disputed, and your payment will be then 50% minus whatever pre deposit you have already have. In the case, tax demand is less than 50 lakh, then you'll get rebate of 70%, it means payment of 30% minus pre deposit. Waiver of penalty if tax is already paid. So, in the case, you have already in few cases you have already so that I have already paid the taxes then there will be complete waiver of interest there will be complete waiver of penalty but mind that there cannot be any refund so suppose your free deposit is more than 50% or 70% then you cannot assume that you will get any kind of refund another thing is that in the case of reverse charge suppose you are paying demand under items which are falling under reverse charge okay then you can't take any input tax credit of that so whatever you pay, it's uh, you can't. There is no scope of taking any input tax credit. What is the process? File SLV DRS one before 31st December 2019. In next 60 days, committee will issue SLV DRS two. There will be PH opportunity only if there is any deviation of amount payable as per SLV DRS two. So it means suppose in SLV DRS one you want okay, I have to pay 30,000 rupees. So in SLV DS2, three things can happen. Either they can ask 30,000, 25,000, or 35,000 rupees. So only in the case they are asking more, they will give you PH, otherwise your form will be accepted. Okay. In the case, while SLV DS2 at the time of PH, there is also scope of adjournment. There is scope of adjournment also. After PH committing next 30 days, we'll issue SLV DS3, that is statement under section 27, providing final amount to be paid. So they will compute the amount and they will provide you SLVD as three, how much to pay. Okay, now here you have option whether you want to pay or not to pay. In the case you don't want to pay, okay, you don't pay it, okay, then you will back again to the same position means your appeal or so called notice is pending. It is not disposed under this scheme. And the moment you will pay the amount, okay, then the committee will issue final discharge certificate and SLVD as four. And your case will be closed forever. So, friends, in a very short summary, I have tried to explain you what is Sabka Vikas is there. Okay, and according to me, it is a very good initiative taken by the government, which will help all the taxpayers to reduce the litigation. Okay, please work item by item wise of your service tax dispute or excise dispute. Okay, and 
try to opt for this scheme as much possible. Thank you. Jai Hind.